Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're back with another uh, Strixhaven Quick Draft. Uh, so we've done a Prismari deck, though I wouldn't mind doing more Prismari decks. And last time we had a uh, really awesome uh, Witherbloom deck that got us to seven wins. So there's Silverquill, Lorehold, and Quandrix we haven't drafted yet. I'm not necessarily going to stop after getting the uh, getting to five, but uh, wow, what a pack! Um, I feel like the pick here is Prismari Command because you know it's Prismari Command. Though it might not even be as amazing in limited. Still, the fact it can shock something and give us a treasure or draw us out of a flood. And it's a Prismari card. So the chances of us being Prismari now have kind of just gone up. So we need to prioritize the learn spells and also the... I don't even know how good divide by zero is going to be here. Because we can't actually bounce tokens. But, eh, it, it learns something. I think we'll start with the learn thing. Uh, best card in this pack... Is probably oh gosh I don't know snakes can veil is good explosive welcome hunt for specimens I'm looking at spiteful squad and eh, we don't need teach by example here there's also the intro to prophecy Explosive Welcome, I feel like those can go around late. I, I've seen them kind of late in uh, in these quick drafts against the bot, so I'm going to grab the lesson here. Here we have what can be a decent draw spell. I also like the Reject. I know, I feel like I'm also kind of forcing blue-red. There's an opt. Environmental sciences. There's academic dispute, which could actually be pretty good. I'm going to grab that. I think that's the pick here. I think we need creatures. Uh, I'm going to go with the learn spell over the campus. Well, it's starting to look like Prismari might not be the most open thing ever. Another environmental sciences. Which I can definitely help, especially in a Prismari deck that's trying to get to so many lands. I'll grab that. I don't know that we really want the Hall Monitor here. I could also potentially end up splashing green. I'm going to grab the Prismari land, though, for sure. Another Arcane Denial. Whirlwind Denial can also be a decent counter spell. We've got two Learn cards, two Lessons. Let's just grab another Subtraction. Uh, here's a two-drop for us. We've had okay results with that. 
I could also grab the Quadrix Campus and maybe look for like a green splash. Or heck, we might not even be in... We might just be in Quandrix, and we could even splash the red cards. I might like that idea a little bit more, because here the Snakeskin Veil came back to us. We have not drafted creatures yet. We should probably do that. Tangle Trap. There are a lot of flyers in this. I've had okay success with uh, Tangle Trap. We can also... Oh no, that just gives things reach. I don't think this is going to become like any sort of a white deck. We'll grab that and throw it in our sideboard for right now. Adventurous Impulse isn't terrible. It can be a cheap way to trigger Magecraft. Uh, we got a Dark Ritual of Verdant Mastery here. So, Verdant Mastery could actually get us into, like, big Prismari spells. Or big Quandric spells. I always gotta, you know, get some of those. I haven't tried this card, really. I feel like I might. Because the other options here are like Field Trip. This guy can be decent. The Wormhole Serpent. I guess the question is just how... How big are we into green right now? We seem to be fairly into green. Oh, we have Callous Blood Mage. Which I do already have a place of. We have Quandrix Cultivator. Frost Trickster can be nice. Yeah, I think we're going to definitely call an Audible and go Quandrix here. We could also go Quandrix Splash Red. That's not a bad card for card advantage either. Uh, Maelstrom Muse could be interesting. Mage Duel as a fight spell. I do need to be grabbing some creatures here though. Um, but I definitely like the Leyline Invocation, especially since we've got, like, this, uh, sort of ramp theme going on now. With the Cultivator and Verdant Mastery. And we are kind of more into the blue-green... Could also go for some cheap cards. We'll we'll get we'll get some, I hope. Spectacle Mage and Prismari Pledge Mage. Both stand out. Prismari Apprentice. But I think the red is just kind of shaping up to be a splash. But I can play the Pledge Mage well enough in a blue-green deck. So I think that's going to be our pick here. Spectacle Mage is also not unreasonable.
I do definitely need some two drops. Oh, and some three draft creatures as well. Let's go with the Spectral Mage. There's a payoff. Because they didn't, those things did not wheel last time. I'm going to grab that because we are, we are totally ramping into stuff. Uh, elemental summoning. I would like that Frost Trickster, but, uh,. I feel like that's just not happening at this exact moment. There's a Pledge Mage. And here's a Zimone. That also wouldn't be bad with the route we're taking this deck, and we are more Quadrix. The Scurred Colony serves us well. And field trip to get us more. I'm not a huge fan of the adept there. I think we have enough learn cards for right now. So I'm gonna focus focus attention more on creatures. I don't really have a good way of. I have the thing that gives plus one, plus one counters. Now we do have a snakeskin veil. I'm also not sure that there's a ton of three toughness creatures where that would be better. We might run into more ways to generate 1-1 one, one counters on a thing. Let's go with that. We've got Cram Session. I guess if we need another Learn card. There's a Reject and a Bio Mathematician. Kind of like the reject. The biomathematician, I've. Like, it makes two bodies. Cleric, druid, shaman, warlock, wizard. Okay, well, that is a wizard. It makes two bodies, but I. Just have never been super impressed with the card. Maybe if we get a lot of them, they could be good. Resculpt, not sure if we're going to be playing that. Crash through can be a nice cheap way to trigger. That could be good. There's a heated debate, a serpentine curve. A lot of good stuff in this pack. Um, Draconic Intervention, since we do have a ton And also with environmental sciences, we should be able to make double red pretty easily. This is a board wipe. I mean, it's either that or creative outburst or heated debate. I'm going to grab the board wipe. Because we can uh, potentially blow someone out with that. Here we're starting to see the payoffs. for our Quandrix Splash Red ramp. I think we run this. It also generates creatures. Speaking of... Storm Kiln Artist is pretty good. But I do really like the Pledge Mage. Because this thing, when left alone, can just get out of control. Frost Trickster. That kind of helps with our splash, but it's also, it also can be kind of fragile. I mean, technically this can be fragile too. We already have a Zim Zone. Frost Trickster can help slow things down. I'm going to go with the uh, 
Quadrix Pledge Mage. Maybe I overvalue those, but uh, I have had a lot of good success with those in the past. Um, I'm not sure I want a second Leyline Invocation. I'd rather just have like a cheap counter. That also lets us look at our opponent's hand. And here's Cultivate. I think Cultivate is the pick that can really solidify our three color and really help justify the intervention. Bookworm is not bad either. And then Golden Ratio. There's so many good things here. Okay, how many creatures do I have? I have nine creatures. Well, some of them are also going to be... Like, we have Elemental Summoning. Uh, but since we do have a lot of spells, we have a couple of spells that also make creatures. I'm going to try out the Biblioplex Assistant. I think this could be a spot for that. Containment Breach wouldn't be a bad pickup here either. Another colony. Because we are kind of going big on the ramp. Here we could have another arcane subtraction. We've got four learn cards. Five. Oh, we have a field trip in here too. We have a ton of learn cards. So let's grab lessons and try to fill up on those. Uh, Honor Troll. We don't have that much life gain. I don't think he's going to be doing a ton. That said, there's nothing else really here in our colors, so we'll just uncommon draft here. Um, we cram this Revitalize. Oh, hey, we got the Containment Breach for our lesson board. I don't think we're running any of this either. Although, if we're really desperate for three mana creatures... Oh, that came back to us? Field Trip came back to us? There's no way we can run all this. Okay, so... I mean, this can kind of count as our Quandrix deck. We are splashing. Uh, so I do need to make six cuts here. I think we are going to run these as like our top end things. We can also like use the masterpiece to make a treasure to help fix our man and then just get it back with the assistant. And we have how many lessons? One, two, three, four, five lessons, but we're probably not going to need that many. I can probably go down one arcane subtraction. We don't really have a lot of creatures we want to sacrifice in this deck, so I think that's a fairly easy cut. Adventurous Impulse, we're not playing a ton of creatures to begin with. It also makes me wonder if Mentor's Guidance should be in the deck. We do have four creatures there. We have two, three, four, five learn cards. We still have a lot of learn cards. We've got Prismari Command, 
Spectacle Mage to help reduce the cost of this stuff. Biomathematician might go. I could maybe even see taking out the Verd Mastery here. But then again, it just kind of guarantees us once we're at six mana and if we to reduce the cost. I like the super ramp. Enters Guidance, Cleric, Druid, Shaman, Wizard, Warlock. So we have the Druid, Wizard. Uh, Test of Talents. It's always going to be relevant in this format. And Snakeskin Veil, like... I don't know, I think it's going to be pretty easy with all the ramp we have to have a mana open to protect one of our creatures. Maybe the subtraction isn't as good here. One of those cases where we just have so many good cards. I definitely want to keep all of the ramp. Mentor's Guidance is also really good with the uh, Quandrix Pledge Mage. Is this? That's a druid. That's a druid. It could also be the Biblioplex Assistant. That doesn't seem right. It could be the Academic Dispute. Because if we're just going to focus all in on the ramp... Like, we'll still have one, two, three, three lessons, or three, three learns. We can get the elemental summoning, environmental sciences, and then one of whichever other one we need. That doesn't seem Awful. Could also go down a ley line invocation. We do have a kind of a huge top end. But at the same time, we are kind of ramping into it. Like I said, I've never been super impressed with that. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, colors. We kind of really want to make sure we get green. We've only got five red cards. So I'd actually be okay with 
that. I know we have the Draconic Intervention, but we can just get both our mountains off of Cultivate as well if we need to. And we've got the Environmental Sciences. We just need to make sure we have green. Maybe I even drop an island for, uh, yes, seven blue sources here, eight green sources. Drop an island for another forest just because we are really dependent on the green to ramp or do much of anything. But at the same time, if we get, well, nine is just over half. We should be fine with that. All right, so if we want to get fancy with the oh, we forgot to put card sleeves on. We'll have to do that after the first round here. Uh, if we want to get fancy with the names of decks and whatnot, this could be called um, it could be called Quandrix Red. I know back when we had. Uh, All those forests we put in. And we have no green. This is the type of hand... I'd be tempted, very tempted to keep. I'm not going to keep it. I do like this better. I don't like getting rid of Snakeskin Veil, though, but we just need a blue source now. I'd rather be lacking a blue source than lacking a green source. Our opponent can hit us with this for a little bit. Oh, that could be uh, kind of nasty. I'm going to drop the Pledge Mage first, because if it survives a turn... Then this will just make it a 4-4. And uh, our opponent is now lashing out. So our opponent now sees that we are in uh, Teamer Colors. The official name for the blue green red color combination Your okay, opponent has had a pretty good start uh, when I cast the spell it's got to be it so yeah let's do that this is where I really wish I had the uh, snakeskin veil still. I don't really need an island. That's a good card. Cultivate. I think we're actually fine on lands. Oh, that's also a good card. So next turn we could Draconic Intervention. I'm going to attack because I want them to play creatures next turn. They might be more inclined to play creatures. If uh, mine, are, mine is tapped and they're not like, oh hey, I need to cast my removal spell right now. Are those... Oh my gosh, from a distance, this almost looks like a Houndoom. Like, there's the horns and the doggy. 
you know, it, it looks like a Houndoom from a distance, but when you and then it's it's not a Houndoom at all. Okay, so that would require a four mana card to pitch, which uh, we cannot quite do that. But I can also block that. I could also offer a trade here. I'm not really opposed to that. Yeah, I'm not opposed to that. That's a card I could be running too. I mean, I could just run it as a 5 mana 5-4. Five, that wouldn't be awful. Then again, it totally looks like we have Snakeskin Veil. Which is what our opponent was probably contemplating. I had to scry my Snakeskin Veil to the bottom. Well, not scry it to the bottom, but you guys know what I mean. I think I'm going to hold off on the flyer. We're just going to go in with the Professor here, I think. Because if our opponent wants to make any sort of trades or fun stuff, I'm I'm open for trading that. Tend the pests. Well, our opponent could be really sad if we, uh... Oh, we cannot actually do that. Because I already played a land. Okay, then we play squirrels. We'll need to block some stuff here. Assuming they're going to swing out. I hope they just play some more creatures. Get a, uh... Get yourself a pest summoning and play it. Because I could wipe everything but my Pledge Mage, and the Pledge Mage will be a 5-5. Five, five. That's not what I wanted you to grab. I think we're going to have to play the Intervention. And I think I will attack with my Professor and Pest first. Just so I get a chance to... Because that, that Witherbloom Apprentice is just doing too much work against us. Biblioplex Assistant. I could get us back Mentor's Guidance. I just don't know if... It, well, I really don't want them. But then I have nothing besides a 5-5 five, five after that. Whereas if I play the Assistant, I get that back to the top. I play this. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I could even play both next turn. I just have to make sure the auto-tapper doesn't screw me. That'll give them another chance to play things. Um, just make it known to them I want to gain life. And they're not falling for it. Okay. I will probably go attacking. That's a 4-4 four, four now. Can't be blocked. Fascinating. 
Okay, yeah, it's not... Not doing that. Okay, cool. Explosive Welcome. I am definitely going to draw that card. A forest. I could play that. My, my own squirrel will survive. I like that, too. And let's go... Oops, I forgot your thing has reach. Oh no, my assistant. Okay, wipe this board. There we go. That looks so much better. And now we have Explosive Welcome next turn. We'll probably have this game just about wrapped up. I mean, I can play this deal. Yeah, let's... They could draw right away, though, but... You know, they'd have to draw an instant and... have it be relevant. Whereas here, they're just... We're threatening to kill them right now. And they have no pressure on board either, so we don't have to worry about being attacked back. They did not get anything relevant. I told you guys I like the Pledge Mage and I like the uh, Druids thing. I like Draconic Intervention too. So with that game under our belt... I feel Spectacle Mage is still pretty good. The only thing is, like, we can't use the assistant to get back Draconic Intervention, because casting it, it gets exiled. It also exiles a spell from our uh, graveyard, so there's a little bit of anti-synergy there. The other thing I could do is take out the Test of Talents and put in, like, either a Cram Session... Or this... I don't want to put that thing in. We have a ton of three drops as it is. I'd probably put in the cram session. Over a test of talents. That way we could... Like, if we don't have a two drop creature, we could go get our environmental sciences and keep the... Uh, keep the gravy train running. Also puts us back up to four learn cards, whereas Test of Talents isn't going to be super useful on turn two. And we do have Snakeskin Veil we can have to protect our key creatures. I like that idea. Let's do it. I would definitely like another learn card, especially since we do have an uh, elemental summoning in our uh, sideboard. This is perfect. We have all our colors. We have all our ramp. Yeah, turn one, campus. Turn two, forest into cram session. Who's on the play here? Near the opponent. Oh, I forgot to put card sleeves. That's the part I'm still forgetting. Um, so our Scurred Colony is not going to be blocking that. It's not going to be attacking through that anyways right now. So we'll do that. And I will just go ahead and grab the uh, Elemental Summoning. And then we can Cultivate. Well, now I have a reason to want to play that. Comes the target of a spell, sack it. Um, because they could kind of hit us for a lot here. Let's let's play the uh, colony. I mean, they could still just blast it away and 
put the hurting on us. Not much I can do if that happens. I guess it's a good thing we gained that extra life. Next up we have Cultivate. Let's make sure we're hitting our land drops. Yep, there's a heated debate. Because now their pledge range can attack. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we'll cultivate. We will grab a mountain and a forest. Uh, choose the card to go on a battlefield. It doesn't really matter. I can always divide by zero to eliminate that thing. I can also play the Biblioplex Assistant. I don't think I want to play it on any of that stuff, though. Uh, so this can get me another forest. And then we can play our two drop as well, just to be most efficient. Could also field trip, but uh, we'll go with the cultivator. Oh yeah, we're going to take that action. We're going to get a forest. Now we're going to do that. I always need to not die to this thing in the air. So I have that, or I could... Alternatively, I can field trip. I'm going to do that. I'm going to field trip here. Get our ramp going. Oh, I could also just kill it with uh, expanded anatomy. That sounds like fun. Yeah, I I want the flyer dead. Kill spell for the dream tricks. Okay, so our opponent is going to be looking to cast that. Our opponent is going to be casting that, so that means this thing could attack, so I'm going to hold this back to block. If only I still had my divide by zero open. That's okay, we've got five, six, seven, eight lands. I could actually play elemental, our own elemental summoning. Now this is a problem. Uh, no blocks there. Okay, well I can play our professor here. Uh, this thing's not blocking. Yeah, that's not blocking anything. I can divide by zero if they... I can divide by zero on, you know, whatever I want. They do need to get another land. I will totally trade this for this. Divide by zero. Okay, so Magecraft making him unblockable. Prismari Pledge Mage, well, we're already attacking. I am going to respond with my own Divide by Zero. I don't want to give him Divide by Zero back, so I'm going to bounce his attacker. Because I kind of don't want to just die to it. Leyline Invocation. That's a big boy. And now he can't cast that next turn. Um, I do need to not be dying here. Uh, no attacks. I can also do this to get back the Leyline Invocation.
Okay, you can play your uh, player rentals on and you can play the apprentice. Okay. He's got expanded anatomy. Okay. I have mentor's guidance. What can I put back on top? Maybe my own divide by zero? Or even my own cram session? I might go cram session here. Again, just so I'm not dying to silliness. We're gonna draw that. Fine, Kino, this is a uh, talk of... Oh, Prismari command. I do want to draw that as well. Oh, we can play that. And they don't seem to be having any artifacts or enchantments, so we'll just take the other draw. And we'll just say, what do you have, opponent? He blocks our 10-10. Seems reasonable. Now, I don't think he has a kill on us. Like, he's not this turn. He's also got green. Okay, so let's... Let's go attack him first. For 12. Okay, he is going to block. I could do something really cheeky and, like, deal two damage to my pest. To gain a life? Yeah, we don't need that. Yeah, I'm gonna play this again. So I can Prismari Command and kill my own pest. Should he play a spell that costs five or more mana? Really cheeky play here. Very unorthodox, but uh, makes that thing unblockable, and that's kind of the issue I'm having. Oh crap, well now it doesn't matter. Uh, I could shoot. Actually, it does matter. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna kill all my own stuff. Yes, destroy my own artifact. Yes. <laughs> now his pigment storm doesn't damage me, and I gain enough life to not die this turn. <laughs> I just beat my opponent by Prismari commanding and killing two of my own cards. <laughs> if I was just like, wait, what is this? <laughs> Kill your own things. Good game. Because uh, I swing out here. He has to block the 10-10. Which means he does not have uh, death on us next turn. Uh, you, you need to block. Oh, wait. Can I use that twice? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I can use that twice. Uh, which is what we're going to do. Well, I guess that card can be relevant in the late game. I'm almost like, who needs math? I just swing with everything. <laughs> that was... That was ridiculous. Okay, when I first picked Prismari Command... I did not envision a scenario where I use it to kill two of my own creatures so that I don't lose. That, that just wasn't... <laughs> that wasn't, um... That wasn't a thing you think of. I was glad the Pigment Storm targeted the, uh... <laughs> the Biblioplex there. Like, if you were to target anything else, 
Yeah, like if he would have targeted the 2-2 ground guy, I wouldn't be able to do that because I would have to do two damage to that. And then destroying an artifact wouldn't help. And I wouldn't have a way to get my pest token to die, and then he could swing for six. That was so ridiculous. I go first. I'm missing blue. I don't care. But we're... I actually, I might care. That's That's not entirely true. But as, if I get a blue source, then, you know, these come online. And there we go. I always had a blue source. I could put a land. Which I'm probably... If we draw a land, I can ramp with it. It's a thing we can do. Uh, okay. Uh, we're going to ramp like this, though. And we're going to play our colony. Let's play our stuff out. Next, we've got Divide by Zero, which can go get us uh, the thing. I don't like that card. I don't like that combo. What? Opponent. That's not okay. Not okay, and I also I'm also gonna get to eight mana pretty quick. I feel divide for do I let that it has menace. I almost feel like I just draw here. And I can bounce it next turn. It's only four. Now let's draw. Oh, I should have waited till their end step, because maybe they have... Well, if they had another one, they would have played that before gaining the life. Wandering Pledge Mage, that's not anything better. I can offer you a trade. Our opponent is not interested in trading. Can't say I blame them. Wither Bloom Apprentice. Huh. Okay. I can also put a land in. That wouldn't be awful either. Okay, um... That goes bye bye And I can even play... If I'm not playing Explosive Welcome next turn... Oh, well, that's rude. I have a land to play. Take that. Okay, I do think two, three, four, five, six, seven. I do think I want to play environmental sciences just to guarantee our eighth land. I can also play elemental masterpiece. Oh, there's a cultivate. But we have seven exactly, and I won't if I do the other stuff. Okay, here we go. Uh, no attacks. 
So now we have a couple 4-4s four here. They're gonna play their thing. Play something else. That doesn't kill my stuff. Because I think I'll swing first. Well, I gotta get... I gotta get a mana, though. If I draw an untapped land, I can swing first, and then if they, like, double block one of my elementals, I can use this and get like, just a complete blowout. I mean, if that doesn't happen... Okay, that did not happen. But we can just put some pressure on them. I'm gonna gain some life. Expanded anatomy. Not opposed to that either. Let's cultivate. Uh, I do need a mountain and another forest. And I can. Anatomy. I'll do it to one of the tokens. Swing for ten. Maybe I should win all out there. No, they're just gonna take it. Okay. So that can go... That could potentially go a lot higher this turn. Uh, even out of the reach of Explosive Welcome. But our opponent is not in the best of situations. Also, if I could get, like, Draconic Intervention on three... Well, they would pump that. And Draconic Intervention on three isn't super impressive. They could also just sack that and go learn. It's a pretty... Pretty sweet card. See, this was like the uh, Wither Bloom deck we didn't get with the Apprentice and these guys. We didn't even see any of those. Yep. I don't feel like they can afford to attack me, though. They might. Uh, they might still have something else. Witherbloom Command. What all is this doing? Okay, they can totally go attacking. Oh, they gave that minus. Well, that's kind of rude. Can I do... Okay, so this is 10, 15... That's only 15 damage, though. Only 15 damage. I guess we gotta kill off probably the Menace guy. That feels rough, but I know we've got big draws in our deck as well. Oh, we still have this 4-4. Okay, cool. 
Uh, so let's kill off this other crap. Oh yeah, and they gained a boat ton. I'm glad I wasn't thinking of trying to, uh... Um... I don't know how much they have to pump. Okay, that doesn't pump. Okay, that doesn't pump. Okay. Oh, I needed to set the upkeep. I didn't do that right away. Because now it's not good. might lose this because of that misplay. I could have scribed that land to the bottom. Just swinging with that, huh? Well, if they can't gain life, they can't get it back yet. So we're going to call them on that. We got to get rid of the 7-7. Seven, seven. Which actually, you know what would be good? Mentor's Guidance. I think that's a card we can play. I don't get to double it, because a squirrel is not a, uh... That's not a squirrel wizard we have. Professor of Zoomancy. And I'm going to play that so I can remember to scry on their turn. I'm going to leave their unwilling ingredient on the field. They're looking for stuff. I don't mind the trade, if that's what we're doing. Okay, that is what we're doing. That's not good. Our opponent is sitting at 24. Stop on my LP. Game! I even entered full control. It was supposed to just stop everywhere. Now I'm having issues. Look, our opponent has six lands, and we've drawn all these lands. Well, we've ramped some, too. Well, I definitely need to block that. I mean, I have out. Especially if I get, like, Draconic Intervention. Um... I don't know what lessons I have left. I have... I still have Elemental Summoning, don't I? I think I do. One, two, three. Not gonna pretend I have anything when I don't. I'm gonna strive for an answer. Of course, like one spell, instant or sorcery, can just win them the game here. I can't be too sad if that happens. Okay, they don't have anything. Why is that? Keep my stop there on the upkeep. I don't want a campus. Uh, I do want to scry. Quandrix Cultivator. 
it at least gives me another uh, blocker. Yeah, I'm gonna search. Not in a position to go attacking. I still want to stop on my upkeep. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Did they put that to the top or bottom? Oh, yuck. They give it flying. Well, good game. Had a couple minor misplays that ended up kind of costing me. Like, if we had started our comeback a bit sooner, I think we would have been okay. Which we could have if we'd gotten all of our scries in and all of our upkeep stops. Uh, do I need to change it? Because it seems like we're having issues surviving early. And we have so much just early ramp here. I almost don't think Verdant Mastery is necessary. I almost think we'd be better off just running... Test of talents back in. Because so far, like, if that's three games. We have not even seen Verdant Mastery, and we have just ramped so hard without it. See, this would be Verdant Mastery. I'm going to keep this. Blue, red, there's Prismari Apprentice. There's. We're gonna reveal our first red next. Tomb Shredder, okay, they're just going to go kind of, uh. Ramp happy. Or uh, aggro happy. So they could play like a heated debater in forward of that. That's fine. My plan is to go Mentor's Guidance into Draconic Intervention. I mean, the only real dragons in this set are the Mythic Rare Dragons. They kept open... Double red, so this is going to become a 4 4, so this is not even going to be able to uh, attack well. Do I want another one of those? Uh, Blue red's going to have a difficult time dealing with that, so sure, why not? And. Oh, I don't have. I have double red. So that is kind of an issue. So we'll have to field trip into um, field trip into the environmental sciences, and we can cast all of that next turn. I mean, if you want to do that. Okay, our opponent decided against that. Um, I am going to play this just in case they have a counter here. Because I don't want things to get encountered. And this is going to get buffed. I could even... I could even just leave Test of Talents open, and I could still cast Environmental Sciences into Draconic Intervention next turn. Let's do that. Yeah, I like having the uh, test attempt. That's fine. You have another attacker. It's another thing that's just going to die to this. 
I mean, you might get some more damage in if you want to swing all out before all your stuff dies. Okay, that is, uh... Tap up to two creatures. Those draw two, then discard a card. Let's not do that. Let's just not do that, okay? You have an explosive welcome in your hand, okay? A lot of storm kill artists, okay? Get rid of that. Explosive welcome that is almost online. Two lands away from being online. There's our explosive welcome. Fortunately, this thing is going to be just so big. Uh, the Tomb Shredder can actually eat a thing. We can only do it for three. Well, since they're not playing that next turn, why don't we play this and then... Because then we lose our own. Um... I just think we do this anyways, on three. We can get rid of the... that. Oh, they did not decide to... Oh, they didn't have anything. Okay, well, they're just in trouble now. Because now we have all this big crap coming. Oh, that's cute. Uh, It's also somewhat scary. I attack you. Going down to four. A bold move. I only had seven mana. Well, that was the best use of seven mana. Like, if they got a land, they could play the explosive welcome here. But that doesn't stop. Well, I can also do that. Okay, so the next turn they'll have Explosive Welcome, but next turn they're just dead. Because we do, we have too much here. Yeah, Quadrix and Prismari make kind of a nice uh, pairing if you're going to pair two of the campuses together. Because you get, like, ramp from the green in order to get into the, like, big, huge Prismari spells. This is a let's not do anything for a few turns. But I think it, I think we'll be okay. We've got a lot of small stuff in the deck too. I could have played the island there and went treasure, Wanderix cultivator. Ah, here I have an early drop. If you want to kill it, yeah, you can kill it. That's fine. That's fine. We played it. We got it out there. Pilgrim of the Ages. Oh, Cultivate. How do you do? Mine's better. Uh, I'm going to grab the island. Because we do have field trips that can grab forests. We want to make sure we keep some forests in the deck for that. Now, I could play Leyline Invocation right away. But I really want to turn on the Elemental Masterpiece. Whereas our opponent... I don't know what they're ramping into. I am the ramp deck here. Now I really want to just play the... Uh, I could go attacking. What are they going to do? Double block and trade off everything? Because I'd be good with that. Yeah, I didn't think they were going to do that. Now I almost want to play that, but I would rather play this. 
and we'll just get two mountains. Surprise, we have mountains. I'm going to play the masterpiece so that we get uh, multiple creatures out. Yeah, that's fine. They could also... Well, they could bounce that, too. I don't want them to bounce that. Otherwise, I could explosive welcome on stuff. I probably will... Oh, okay. We're going to do replay it so it can be a blocker. That'd be very odd. I mean, I guess that's the thing you can do. This seems gross. I could kill those things. And I'd get three mana that I can't do anything with. Yeah, this seems like a better combo for, like, the following turn. When we get more... Uh, we'll see if you want to go and block anything. Now that I have two 4-4s four out here. Okay, they do want to trade that. That's fine. Cultivator served its purpose and served it well. Now if we get an untapped land, we can do this. Kill... There's not really much we can kill. I mean, they could trade here? Which I'd be good with? Are we playing 8-8? Eight, eight? I predicted they might have Expel. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Oh, uh, let's see. Here's an 8-8. Oh, hey. Oh, that's right, I had 8 mana, so I could play both of them. Haha. <laughs> this thing, even though I don't have a ton of ways to add a counter... Well, I do have some ways to add counters. We haven't found any of our learn stuff yet. If you want to spend your turn doing that, you can do that because you're going to die really quickly. Oh, now you're going to die even quicker. So five and three. And does that even... Five, twelve... That only brings you down to ten. Oh, well, we're doing it anyways. I have nothing better to do than just, uh, you know, really put the pressure on our opponent. And we're going to give that uh, explosive welcome. <laughs> and yeah, our opponent saw enough after that. Oh. All right, how many wins are we at? We're uh, four and one. We're doing pretty well here. Let me check the time. Not doing too bad on time. I just don't want to have a two and a half hour video, you know? Which, I mean, we have a somewhat slower deck, but once this thing gets going and starts chaining all these big spells together, uh, we can just stamp out the game. Yeah, this is good. Good to me. Opponent goes first. They're mulliganing down to six. I might even mulligan a bit further. Nope, they're just going to keep these six. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have a turn to Zimzone. I guess they turn to Zimzone into turn three, just land ramp. Well, I could still land ramp here. Oh no, it comes in tapped. Well, then I don't want to do that. I'll just play stuff. Uh, do I go attack? I don't think I go attacking. I'm not that interested in trading my Zim Zone. The 
This thing now costs six. I'm interested in trading now. Thank you. I don't think there's a one mana white card that can save that. Quandrix Cultivator, that is a good draw. Uh, so the way we do it, we play this. We play our Cultivator. Uh, we take the action, we'll get the uh, one of our islands again. We'll use this. And play a mountain. We're at six mana. Which means if we draw another land that isn't a... Uh, Oh, that's gross. Of course, the game didn't let me finish my sentence. Um, we only have a spectacle. Because they can play that and play it like twice from there. That could get bad. We may need to find a... Uh, solution to that soon. I'm not expecting it to be too difficult to find a solution to that, though. Because unless they have another land here, they can't do that. Okay, they can do that. I don't have anything to do with the Zim Zone right now. Okay, you can put it on that. I'm good with that. I'm going to take some damage here is what, what we're going to do. We can take eight. Oh crap, that's going to... It's going to untap. Nine. I don't really want to take nine here. Especially since your crap has vigilance, that pest can't go swinging anyways. Yeah, I'd rather take four than nine. Well, I can play that. Uh, let's go... Let's do that. This can still get extremely nasty if they find a sixth land. Plus, they also have that sparring regimen. Which I could actually kill if we get um, a learn spell. Yuck. Here's where Tangle Trap would be amazing. I think we're playing the Biblioblex Assistant next turn. Opponent can totally go swinging. I will throw everything at that Silver Quill Apprentice if they want. Well, not the Zim Zone, but I'll throw everything else at that Silver Quill Apprentice if they want to uh, block. Oh, they're going to study break again. They're going to tap. They have to tap one of their own guys to do that. Or it's going to cost them additional 8 mana that they do not have. Okay. So it'll have 7... Yeah, I'm good with that trade. Because I can Biblioblex Assistant. That's late. Uh, but I'm going to do this, and I'm actually going to draw it. Uh, 
I wanted to draw before... Whatever. They're gonna have a hard time going attacking now. Because we have a, a chump blocker, and we have a... Uh, Maybe I play this instead. Do I play that? Because if that, I would only double. No, I don't. I don't think we need to. I think we'll just draw the two. Are they doing expanded anatomy again? You can do that. Uh, I guess they can go attacking because it's uh, vigilance. But I also don't even need to block this. Because they have to block three things here. But now they have... Okay, let's, let's draw a couple cards. Because we like drawing cards. Could they hit us for 10 next turn? Now they really could. Now they really could. But we're just going to put out a bunch of stuff. Um, because they'd block our biggest, so no attacks. We can double this thing's power to twice to uh, get to eight, so that will have to be blocked. I wonder why they didn't attack last turn. Or maybe they did, and I... Explosive Welcome is also just an instant win. I'm not going to bother scrying when I can pay for and just draw two. How many of those expanded anatomies have they been casting? Oh, okay, they've only cast, like, four of them. If they can stop my 2-1 flyer, they got it. But if they can't, I just swarm in. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to do that. Uh, block. That is the block I was just saving that for. You can't block enough. Because I have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, we just go attacking. This thing is an eight, eight. You have to block that and block one other thing. You're still taking at least uh, enough to kill you. And I have snakeskin veil if you have any sneaky, sneaky tricks. I just don't see how they're. I mean, they're, they're even dead on board. Kind of a close game, though, with a uh, Sparring Regiment and Mavinda. Okay, I don't need to bother pumping that. And I can still make either one of those lethal? Unless you have a way of giving that thing lifelink at instant. Swords to plowshares? Oh, uh, let's not do that. Let's just not do that. And I still had, you know, the five damage even without that. Oh, 
Oh, hey, we got a rare out of that, a sludge monster. Just what I've always wanted. Well, we are five and one. Uh, just checking the time real quick. So if you hear the sound go dead for a moment, that that's why. It's not because I'm bad at recording it. Okay, well, we have Prismari stuff we can play. Weird how we don't have green, but as soon as we find green, we can get... We can get more green. I still never put sleeves on this thing. We're on the play. I gotta put sleeves on stuff. Oh, hey, I found our green. Um, let's pretend we're not green for a moment. Uh, red, black. I don't really have anything that we're going to do that with, so let's... Let's field trip. Now let's grab environmental summoning. Oh, now I do. Well, I'm certainly not about to... I want to Prismari command that. But the most efficient thing I can do this turn is the elemental summoning. They attack, I'm not going to block. Well, that's rude. Oh, they did that in the end step. Now I can't even... Oh, well, that is really rude. Okay, well, we're going to do this. We're going to get a red and a blue. Uh, red can go in tapped. Now I can't even... Well, that's okay, because I can play this. And this thing will just be bigger. Uh, we're not blocking that. I will block now with the uh, elemental guys. Silver Quill Pledge Mage and a Star People. Alternatively, I can just Prismari Command to kill that, bounce that thing back... And just get a whole bunch of tempo. Which that doesn't sound like the most awful thing. I'm just really leery on letting them untap with stuff because there's so many tricks and whatnot in this uh, format. In fact, I almost just want to do this right now, so they can't Beaming Defiance it. Let's do that. And... Artifact or Enchantment? I don't believe in those. Let's go Expanded Anatomy. And we'll end our turn there. We have three, four, five, six, seven mana available. So maybe I invocation. Yeah, well, that's fine. Maybe I invocation. And I can mentor's guidance at the same time. Oh, now I can uh, elemental masterpiece and mentor's guidance. Our opponents are just about to have a really bad time. Cram session. Uh, I'll take that. Why not? Professor, yep, yeah, we'll take that too. Because now I just don't mind trading. I'll even trade this for... for that, if they want. I'm a shield mage. Well, now I'm not trading that. I'm not trading that stuff. Get get out of here. Get out of here with that. I could just do this. And go, oh look, I have a 4-4 four, four flyer. 
Uh, they're also going to get their own 4-4 flyer, but... You know, let's... I think it's time to put the pressure on them. Yep, that stuff's fine. I will trade this for that. If that is what they are inclined to do, but here's an 8-8 creature. And you have two cards in hand. The one was a land. One needs to deal with an 8-8 creature. Oh, hey, it deals with an 8-8 creature, and it got rid of that. That's insanely relevant. I can just make them deal with an 8-8 creature again. Not opposed to that. Uh, yeah, let's, uh... Let's, let's just do that again. And... Yeah, I'll go attacking here. Oh, they are going to block. That's cool. More board presence. Okay, obviously they're... Again, they, yeah, they, <laughs> they realize that this is just not going to go well for them. So they were playing some sort of Silver Quill Splash Red, but it, they drew a lot more red lands there, didn't they? I almost wasn't even paying attention to that. Okay, we are six in one. Six in one. That means we've got two chances to get our seventh win. This deck has been amazing. It's just all about, you know, as long as we can survive in the early game uh, and our opponent doesn't develop too much of a board too quickly, then when just when we start dropping our big stuff, I guess it's just over. Uh, I'm going to keep. We have the Scurred Colony as a turn two. That's fine. I'll play the Ledge Mage on turn three. I'm surprised we... I, if they have a combat trick, I want to get it out of their hand. If they just want to trade here, that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Because it means they're probably not going to play anything else that turn. Yeah. So next turn, I could make this into a full I'm not blocking it this turn. Yeah, that's, that's not going to happen. I could cram session. I feel like I may have to do that. I could double spell. Or I play the professor. I mean, either of those works. I'm going to play the professor so I'm not just putting all my eggs into uh, one basket here. I, can s I think the professor would be better at slowing them down. Because if I just pump this up a couple counters and they have removal, then you're sad. But now we're going to cram. Uh, do I go for environmental? I think I do because I'm lacking red right now. I could swing... Doesn't feel good. They'll have a 2-2 flyer they can swing with. That's fine, we're at 23. That's right, because I just gained 6 life. Inquisition of Kozilek, you get my Spectacle Mage, which I don't really care about that. I, I really do not. Field Trip. Let's go tripping. That's a 5-5. Five, five. I could just expand it anatomy and make it bigger. 
Also, it plays around Expel. I like it. Let's play around Expel. Um, I can stick it on the Professor. I'm going to stick it on this guy. And if they want to expel, they could. I'm good with a the trade there. Or if they want to trade their expel for that. Or they can also take 12 here. Go down to 14. What can I bring back with the... I mean, I can get Cram Session back or Field Trip back. I'd probably get Field Trip back just to uh, keep the land thing. Oh, okay, they did that. That's fine. I got the Combat Trick out of their hand. Problem is, they're going to have that Flyer, and now it's bigger. Okay. I got to go swinging here. I'm going to get back. Honestly, I should get back a cram session so we keep our life total up. Now, if they have expel, though, they can totally use it on our pledge mage. Oh, hello. They're going to go for the race. Not blocking. I suppose I could have left it. Well, they've got that's got life link. They can totally win this race. There's a shield mage. That's also not better for me. Uh, elemental summoning. We haven't found any of our like really insane big bomb stuff. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go attacking with that. The opponent chooses to take 10. Because, I mean, they can gain 4 just by attacking. I will block with my past. My 10 10 is posing a bit of a problem for them. Yeah, we're lacking in we're lacking in our card draw now. Swinging for six. Eh, no blocks right now. Ugh. Yeah. Defend the campus. Well, that's probably just going to kill us now. That was a good draw for them. Okay, is there a way I don't die here? Oh, there really isn't, is there? Yeah, no, because I still take five. Okay. So we missed all of our big cards and our um, card draw. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for the expanded anatomy and went for card draw instead. Maybe that was a little too greedy. Two all eggs in one basket, and our opponent just kept getting... Um, kept getting fuel while we kept getting uh, lands off the top. But that happens sometimes. Uh, we're on the play. This is risky. If I really need to, I could do like a turn four one of these guys. Uh, now we do not need to. Now I can do a turn four one of these guys. Well, can't do turn four that yet. 
That's a plus one. Um, I'm fine if our opponent wants to trade, but I'll let them do the attacking. We have such a big top end, and I have Divide here. Divide is going to get us... Gross. Um, let's slow that down a little bit there, opponent. I gotta give them something else to do. I mean, I know they're gonna play it again, but... I can go attacking this turn, because I think we're going to play the Professor. They can't possibly take everything good out of our hand. We had Field Trip as well. Dramatic Finale, that's fine. Even if they want to swing there. Okay, they did not want to swing. Um, I'm fine if they want to do that. I do not. Okay. I can play this while we got it. They don't know what other lessons we have, so this could... Um! Okay. Okay, that is apparently a thing they can do. Uh, gotta... I can't double spell this turn. That's the bad part. I gotta go attacking, though. That's a lot of dramatic finales. We're gonna... Oh! You know what we could do? We can't do it right now. Yeah, we're definitely gonna search it up. If they don't take our field trip... I'm still... I've been expecting them to play Humiliate. If they don't take our field trip, we could field trip and get one of the things that kill enchantments and get rid of one of those. Heck, maybe I should have done that instead of attacking there. Combat Professor. I'm, I'm, I'm more okay with that than Humiliate. And it gains Vigilance. We can still come in on the ground. Uh, no blocks. So we're going to shrink those guys. They'll have three power. Ooh, a test of talents. That's cool, but we got to keep pressure up here on the board. Yeah, we're actually playing this. Get rid of one of those. And now... They don't have the best of blocks. I mean, they can trade stuff. Yep. I mean, granted, this trade gives them only one more toga now. Two dramatic finales. But now they're going to be able to play this. I mean, I mean, they've been able to play that. Now they can't play that. Cool. Now we can play this. And just make them regret their life choices. I think we'll go attacking, though, first. Oh. Because they could double block there. 
I actually don't like swinging with the Cultivator here. And I almost feel like playing the Spectacle Mage and then holding back. But if they want to double block... Oh, if they want to double block that token... If I swing out here... If I swing out here, I might be able to just kill them next turn. Just kind of ignore those and go for the Spectacle Mage Explosive Welcome. Because what are the odds that they gain life next turn? Something's going to connect. There's, there's no way they don't double block this. I'm expecting them to double block that. Just as expected. Which is perfect because I just wanted to get two damage out of them. And now I can test of talents to protect, stop the humiliate that I know they have. They don't really have time to play humiliate either. But this lets me just slam explosive welcome. Um, I don't care about that. I don't care about that because they're just dead to this. That I will counter. Because I cannot have them gaining life for this plan. I counter it, and then they're dead. They kind of got stuck on lands. Okay, I can't counter that, but I don't need to. Now they're just dead. They're just dead, and I don't even have to attack. Because they can't gain life here. Good game, opponent. Take five. Whew. I might not have played that way if I didn't have that test of talents to protect, because I knew they had Humiliate. I knew they didn't really have time to play it, but... I mean, it was an option that we knew about. Because um, if they if they had played Humiliate and we didn't have test of talents open, they could have stopped us from winning next turn, and then it would have looked kind of silly playing all of that stuff and not... Um, and not getting, and not uh, playing our elemental masterpiece and just trying to win on the board. Although I think either of those plans would have ended up uh, working, but the uh, five damage to their face was just a little bit cleaner. Well, let's open our prize packs. That is two seven wins in a row and two wild cards in the same pack. And a silver quill. Big dragon noises. And look, one of our uh, all stars here. And a <laughs> Tanazir Quandrix. Wow, that's two mythic uh, dragon pulls there from our our packs. Very nice. Uh, very nice draft. And with that, I will see you guys next time.